World War II, Fat Man, Little Boy, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Cold War, Death. Nuclear weapons have been a major factor throughout our recent history. Nuclear weapons have shaped politics and everyday lives in our world. Nuclear weapons are very complicated and the chemistry behind them is amazing. A nuclear reaction is the change in the identity or characteristics of an atomic nucleus that results when it's bombarded with energetic particles as in fission, fusion, or radioactive decay. Fusion is almost completely complementary to fission. The nuclear reaction where two nuclei collide at a high velocity and each of their respective nuclei squeeze together to form a nucleus of a different, heavier nucleus. Oftentimes, the elements used in fusion processes today are the isotopes of hydrogen. The reaction also yields free neutrons and exorbitant amounts of energy from binding energy. Fission is a nuclear reaction caused by nuclear decay of an unstable atom. As a result of the instability of the atom, the nucleus splits into two fission fragments, also yielding free neutrons and exorbitant amounts of energy, both in the form of electromagnetic radiation and kinetic energy. An atom is fissible if it's capable of undergoing a fission reaction. If an atom is fissible, it's not only able to undergo fission, but it's also capable of sustaining a nuclear chain reaction. The amount of fissile isotope required to successfully start and sustain a nuclear chain reaction is known as the critical mass. If the fissile material is at a subcritical mass, it cannot sustain a nuclear chain reaction. On the other hand, if the fissile material is at a supercritical mass, it will undergo a chain reaction at a significantly higher rate. When fission occurs, free neutrons are formed. Those gain kinetic energy from the previous nuclear reaction and split two or more atoms. The, the free neutrons from the nuclear fission reaction bombard nearby fissile isotopes. This results in multiple fission reactions, and these reactions result in enormous amounts of kinetic energy and gamma radiation. This causes what is known as a nuclear chain reaction. This is a leading factor in the nuclear bomb and is what causes the explosion. A fission reaction is seen here. We start with uranium-235 and inject one neutron to split the atom. This creates two split atoms of krypton and barium. This also splits into three other free neutrons. These split the krypton and barium as well. There are two ways of creating a nuclear reaction when the ideal conditions are observed. There are gun assembly and implosion. Implosion is simply TNT exploding to make the ions collide into supercritical substances. This causes the fission chain reaction. Gun assembly is when a radioactive atom is fired into a fissile target. These two isotopes, normally uranium-235, create a supercritical mass. This causes a chain reaction and will proceed to cause the nuclear explosion. This can be seen here, where a ping pong ball is inserted into a bunch of mouse traps with a bunch of other ping pong balls.